this video, I'm going to show you how to create AI movie inside of CapCut. First, let's talk about choosing the background. There is an AI image generator like DAL-E and Midjourney that we can use. We realized early on that in CapCut, we can generate an AI images for free. Now, we enter text description to explain what you want to happen in the image. Set the aspect ratio to landscape or 16 by 9. And I'm gonna bring the steps all the way up for more detailed result. Click on generate and choose between the one that you like. You can click on generate again for more images. I select this one, but as you can see here, the image quality isn't that good. So just click on HD icon here. And finally, this is much better. We can clearly see that there's a big difference, which is more realistic. To get better results, we check mark the enhanced image. Alright, we are finished choosing the background. Now, let's talk about how to animate this still image. Number one is assets. Assets is usually a digital file that you can add to your video, like smoke, rain, and all kinds of materials. This helps to represent the atmosphere of the place and the situation. So, this is my another project. I found this aircraft material on internet. Anyway, we can also import alpha channel, which means the background material is already transparent. Number 2 is effects. We have several effects, and choose between the one that suits your image. So I like this because how realistic this effect is like in real water. Number 3 is keyframe. A great way to simulate the movement is to just keyframe your subject position. Now it's time to add myself to this environment. I don't use green screen on the background, so I'm access CapCut Online to replace the background with green screen. I don't know, the CapCut Online did an excellent job when selecting the subject. And now it's our job to remove the green screen on the background. and do some adjustment as well to match the lights and the colors. I want this behind the building, so duplicate your clip and make selection on the foreground using custom removal. After that, we want to simulate the camera movement. So select all the clips, right click, and create component clip. Now we animate this clip by set the keyframe. Drag the timeline to the beginning of the clip. Set a keyframe on the position and size. Then move to the end of the clip and scale up just a little bit so the camera will look like slowly zooming. Set both different keyframe positions the start and the end of keyframe to create various camera movement. Now it's time to color grading. This is my project sequence which I have exported one at a time. To color grade these clips, we can set the adjustment to make it match with each other.
and we can apply filter to make it more interesting. And finally, let's add sound effects. These are audio elements to complement certain actions. Just drag and drop your sound effects. Or you can find on the audio option. Make sure every sound effect fits in and fits out. And adjust the volume to sound natural. For the narration, I'm going to use text-to-speech feature in CapCut. The target is right in the front of you. And I think this voice effect is really good for this video. The target is right in the front of you. So here's the result. Target is right in the front of you. They will approach on third count. Three, 